Two games on. Fifteen forty. Well, throw on those dress whites and strap up your drinking shoes because we're making a pins cup today. My name is John Weisbarth. This is COVID Cocktails. If you haven't yet, why don't you subscribe? It's not that hard. Literally, it's the easiest thing you'll do today. Just click that button and you're subscribed. And then you'll know every time that I put a new one of these out, which by the way, spoiler, every Friday. 6 a.m. on the West Coast for those of you that really want to get after it. Today, we are making, as I said, a Pimm's Cup. But what is a Pimm's Cup? Well, it's a very refreshing, light drink that is the unofficial, official drink of Wimbledon, if that really is a thing. Uh, it's been around you know, in London and a favorite of Londoners. <laughs> Londoners? Londoners. People from London. It's been a favorite of people from London for about 100 years. And it's a really light, refreshing, fun cocktail. Like if we're gonna make a barometer of sobriety, right, and say that like down here is phone safe, here is like better not call anyone from work, especially Deborah in accounting, because even though she's cute, she's married, lay off. And then up here is like throw your phone in a pool. You definitely don't want to be calling anyone. A Pimm's Cup is like right down here in the, in the phone safe area. So it's light and refreshing, but what I love the most about it is that there's a lot of leeway in here, which is kind of ironic, right? Because of how traditional Wimbledon is, you'd think there'd be a really specific way to make a Pimm's Cup, but it's kind of like how people treat um, Bloody Marys. It's like as long as you've got the base, tomato juice and vodka, then people put all kinds of stuff in it. Well, it's the same thing with the Pimm's Cup. You can go wild and that's the real fun in it. Here's what we're gonna do for ours. It's a lot of ingredients. We're gonna start with Pimm's. The very next thing, of course I forgot it because I didn't get it out, is seven, seven up. And even this, even seven up is not mandatory, right? It's either lemonade, lemon lime soda, or ginger ale, or even ginger beer. So already we're deviating from the base, but Pim's, that uh, seven up, and then it's usually cucumber, uh, a lot of citrus, so orange, also a lemon, mint, and strawberries, right? All of that goes in there. It's basically, here's your base, and then all of this is just kind of the fun that you wanna add to it. and. Let me tell you, uh, you can add more than just this, but this is what we're gonna do. This is kind of the traditional Wimbledon, except usually it's with lemonade, so honestly, you know how I feel. Uh, make this however you wanna make it, right? Try it with 7-Up or Sprite. Try it with ginger ale. Try it with ginger beer. Try it with lemonade. Figure out which one you like the most. Whew, a lot of talk for a simple cocktail. All right, let's just get right to it. We are gonna make this in a Collins glass which I have here. Really, actually, it's all about the prep. Question is, how do I want to do that? How long is that? Okay, you know what? We're gonna, I can't say, uh, hmm. all right, here we go. I'm gonna do this. Gosh, I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm not a chef. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I kind of want to do it the long way so that you get like that cool thing in there rather than just short. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that and tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna save half of this. So I'm gonna cut that in half. You go there. And then, yeah, I kinda wanna just do this. Okay, there's that, and then, yeah. That's all I want. Is that a little thick? Yeah, I think maybe it is a little thick. Let's try this even thinner. Okay, yes. All right, I like that one better. Cool. You two guys are over there. You're over here. So, okay, it just kind of, you just start throwing the stuff in there. Um, and you're not muddling this. You're just kind of all throwing it in. So again, we're gonna go with the mint. Can I wash it? Sure. It looked pretty clean though. Okay, let's go slice of orange. I like this one better. What I'm gonna do for the orange 
is, I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna get a little bit of a slice. And then I'm gonna cut that in half. That's gonna go in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of the orange juice in there. Not a lot, not a lot, but just enough. Same thing with lemon. Here we go. I don't know why, I always cut those little parts off. Just what I like to do. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Oh boy, I always, well, whatever. There we go. And drop that in there. Uh, strawberry is all we have left. I mean, look at this. That's kind of the fun of this one is that the alcohol is almost an afterthought. Almost. It is strawberry season right now. That's really nice. I am going to give that guy a little rinse. Shh. Okay. Cut the top off. And then I'm just going to kind of do this. Put it all in there. Okay. I mean, there's literally no liquid in this yet, and it already looks delicious. So, all right, now we're gonna add the ice. All the way up to the top with ice. That's closed. All right, now we're gonna go two ounces of Pims, maybe two and a half, you know me. So. Oh God, like, could I be any messier? It's all right, it's just how we do it. You know what, actually here's what we're gonna do. Every recipe I've seen is like two ounces of Pims, maybe two and a half, we're gonna do three ounces. I do this every time, right? I go, oh no, and then I end up always making it three ounces. And here's the deal, Pims is only 25% alcohol, 50 proof, which kind of sounds like a lot if you compare it to wine. It's like double wine, maybe four times a, an IPA beer. But if you figure that most spirits are like 80, 90 proof, 40, 45% alcohol by volume, then 25% really isn't that much. That's kind of the secret to this drink. It's why you can day drink and have it, you know, all day long and not really feel bad. So we're gonna make it three, all right? Three ounces. I'm gonna pour it a little bit smoother. There we go. And then the rest is just topped off with lemonade, ginger beer, ginger ale, or lemon lime soda. There we go. Okay. And now just a, oh God, look at the color in that. Okay. Boy, I really put it right to the top, didn't I? All right, we're gonna give it a, yep. It wouldn't be, I mean, why wouldn't it be messy? <laughs> all right, so it doesn't stir amazingly, but that's all right. Just enough to kind of move it around a little bit. I want all that pims at the bottom. Maybe I'll just do the old plunger stir. Are you not familiar with that technique? Yeah, it's a famous one. Wow, look at this. A total mess, but it won't turn you into a total mess. Oh, you know what? Let's just, while I'm here, watch this. I forgot. I'm gonna garnish. Even though that's already there, I'm gonna garnish with this and I'm gonna put a mint sprig on it. Again, it's all about presentation. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay. Now, holy smokes, look at that cocktail. That is gorgeous. I almost don't want to drink it. It's that pretty. But let's be honest. Of course I'm going to drink it. All right, here we go. Pim's cup. Oh, my. It is so refreshing. I mean, there's a reason this is the drink of choice at Wimbledon in the summer in London. This is so good. Mm. Definitely make this and make it however you want and try it every which way with the lemonade, with the ginger ale. I went with 7-Up. Uh, add extra stuff in here. It's so good. It's not, it's not like overdone. It's not sangria because you haven't squeezed a lot of this in there. It's just sitting in there and it's so, so good. Cheers, guys. The Pim's Cup. See you next time on COVID Cocktails. Make sure to ring that notification bell and smash that like button. See you next time. What he said.